So many of you are asking, how can you help the victims and their families, and how can you know where your money is actually going? Well, WFAA, well, we have partnered with Communities Foundation of Texas, which is hosting the main fund in the area to help the victims. I'm joined by Wendy Burton, the Chief Philanthropy Officer. Good morning, Wendy. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Usually after a tragedy, we see GoFundMes and other fundraisers pop up all over the place, but yours is the one we've actually seen the city of Allen and police share as well. So this is the main one for victims, correct? Well, there are several going on. So our fund has been established to provide support for the lot nonprofits. So we'll be providing longer term support for victims as well as first responders to support mental health, um, as well as grief and trauma support um, that will be needed both immediate as well as long-term support for the community. This is what we know that in times like this, there is an, an, a push and a pull and folks want to help right away. So in addition to our fund, uh, Victims First, which is an organization which is also a 501c3, is collecting funds that will be providing direct support to families and their victims. You can find that fund on our support for Allen page as well as other funds that are collecting support for victims. So we are so grateful for the generosity of North Texas. We have raised over $120,000. We know that FC Dallas and the Dallas Stars are raising funds and several corporations have already contributed to this effort. We are so grateful for the generosity who reached out to really embrace the Allen community and everyone who's been impacted by this tragedy. Absolutely. How can folks know that the money they are donating is going uh, where they want it to go, whether it's yours or to uh, another uh, nonprofit that is? Well, organizations such as ours as community foundations, that is part of our charter is to make sure that the money that is given is given for the intent of which donors have given. So we will work really closely with the city of Allen and the nonprofits that are working in the community to make sure that it is going to where it is intended to be, which is it's going to support those in the Allen community that are um, serving and supporting those that are being impacted by this strategy. We'll work closely with Allen, the city of Allen, as well as those that are ser serving and supporting uh, the victims and the survivors to make sure that those who are providing those services are receiving the funding to make sure that, that the money is being used to the purpose that it's intended. All right, Wendy, thank you so much for joining us and appreciate the work that you and your team are doing. Well, thank you to Sharon. We appreciate the support. Absolutely. Here's the info on that fund. To get more information or to donate as well, you can scan the QR code on your screen. We've also got a link on the front page of our website, WFAA.com.